So we're going to tie a wet fly. This is a uh, pheasant tail wet. I'm starting off with a size 12 wet fly hook and I'm going to use a dot black thread for this. I'm just going to start with my thread, break off the excess, <clears throat> and take it back, back down to about the point. Now with this I'm going to tie in a ribbing material and I'm going to use just a thin small copper wire for this. So I'll just lay that right alongside and just tie that in. Bring your thread wraps down to about the, the furthest down before it makes a bend. I'm going to bring that back up to the middle. Now I'm going to tie in my um, <clears throat> pheasant tail. For this I'm going to use a dark pheasant tail. It comes in a lot of different colors. You can match whatever or use whatever color matches what you're trying to imitate. And I'm going to pull off maybe five or six fibers for this. I'm going to tie them in by the tip. And then I'll bring that back up to where I want the thorax to start. As I'm looking at the front of the hook, I'm going to put these in counterclockwise wraps, spreading the fibers out as I go along so they don't get too bunched up. It's the tendency is it's going to want to twist as you wrap it. If you untwist it, it'll give you nice even, even wraps. Advance my thread up just a bit more. And then when I get to here, I can wrap my thread around and bring it up to the front. And now that'll lock those fibers in. I can come back then and clean up the excess. Now I'll have a nice cross section when I start to wrap this, this copper wire. So I'm just going to take nice even turns all the way up to the thorax. And tie that in. A couple on top and a couple in front. I could helicopter that off. Then for the, the thorax piece, I'm going to use peacock curl. And these come in a lot of different variations. You can uh, you know make what works for you. I've seen some with, with tails, some without tails. Uh, I, I prefer mine without. I'm going to snip off the ugly ends of the peacock curl here and just tie those into the front. Make sure they're in line with one another. And then just get those in there and secure. Because I'm using two strands, it's really going to take a couple of wraps here to get that thorax. And then I'll just tie that in. Tie the stems back. All the wraps then are away from the eye so I don't crowd it. And then clip that off. Now for the soft hackle, I'm going to use this soft hackle hen that I like for my wet flies. And you can use partridge or whatever you'd like. I'm just going to pull off a feather here. And then clean up the clean up the bottom. And I can pull that pull that back and try to take as much as I as I want to use for my for my legs. And that looks about right. So then I'm gonna tie it in tip first. And again, I'll tie everything back away from that eye. I can clean that up now, that tip that it's secure. And then if I hold it by the stem, and I wet my fingers, I can lay these fibers back on each other. And each turn that I make here, I'm just going to continually to push those fibers back so they lay on top of one another and back. Then I can just take a couple of wraps to secure that stem, fold it all back, tie that stem right into the head, and then I can just break that off. 
now a handful of whip finishes here. And I can trim that off. And now I'll come back through and just put one, one little dab of head cement in here. And I'll clean out the eye. And it's set. That's a real easy, real easy wet fly to tie, but that is a, a pheasant tail soft hackle.